Hey, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 138. We're going to keep going with our scrolling example today. Remember last time we got the right data in these charts, so the shading works, and when we scroll, everything moves the way it's supposed to. We're going to add this scroll bar today. Now, I'm going to do this in Excel 2010, and the place to get this on the menu has moved. If you're still in Excel 2007, it's no big deal. Watch Excel Video 93. It'll show you everything you need to know where it is how to find it, all that kind of good stuff. So Excel Video 93, you should be good to go. Here's in Excel 2010, under the File menu and Options, if you go to Customize Ribbon, see this is the Developer tab here. All you've got to do is check the box. And once you've got that box checked, you can click OK. And you'll see this tab. And that's where we're going to get what we're going to play with today. Come, that's about where I'm going to put my... Uh, scroll bar so I'm gonna to go to insert and there's a bunch of different things you can insert if you're interested in some of these Excel video 93 and the videos thereafter will show you a couple different ways you can do this we're gonna do this one here the, now excuse me not the spin the scroll bar it'll highlight for me and what it, it's gonna turn into some that little crosshair thing we'll make this a little bit bigger than what we have over here just so you can see how it works notice how it's selected now that I've dropped it and I'm going to right click and format control it says what's the current value I'm just going to put in the same value as I have there the minimum value I want it to be at least one we'll let it go up to 61 because I've got five years worth of data there so five times 12 60 plus one more incremental change is one so every time I it'll move one at a time and that's fine but what every time I click in the control let's have it move six months at a time and let's link it to this cell and again, I'll spend more time on those issues in Excel Video 93 and 94 and a couple of those in that range if you want more coverage on how to do this. But once it's in, then these are in the same place. So I'm going to click outside of here. We're going to drag this over here. And now I've got everybody updating off of the same thing. Now notice this scroll bar and this one are linked to the same cell E1. You, you wouldn't do that in real life. In real life, you have one scroll bar. You probably hide some of these cells. You don't need to show the 43. You just need to show the scroll bar. And they move just fine. You can go all the way down to 1 and everything works. The, the other thing I wanted to show you in this video is just briefly, how do I make this cell show up? What I try to do with this cell is tell the user, this is the first month in my rolling 12 months collections as this moves and in my little shaded area down here. So as I drag this, now it's in February of 06. Now it's in January 06. If I click in the middle, it's moving six months at a time like we asked it to. And this tracks it for me. How am I getting that to work? You just look at this formula up here. It's just the offset formula again. It's saying start at A1. I don't need the dollar signs and everything because I'm only doing this formula in one place. I'm not going to move it or copy it or anything like that. Start at A1. Go down E1 rows. Well, what's E1? It's 37. So it says go down 37 rows. And at the end of 37 rows, it's going to find January 2008. Don't move any columns. And it just I just put that cell there came over and threw a little uh, background formatting on it and as this moves everything else moves that's the scrolling charts that's what I wanted to show you about charts we started with some very basics and gone to some fancier things hopefully at the end of the day what you've got is a bunch of different tools you can use and customize and pick and choose what works for you and your dashboard and put them to work stay tuned next time we're finally done with charts we're going to talk about something else we'll see you then